Hi, my name is Andriy Maximov. I am CEO and co-founder of Precious Payload. Precious Payload is a software that helps you build and execute a space mission without leaving your office. A few weeks ago, I shared a story of my vision on why I think, I personally think that every large enterprise company will have their own satellites in the next seven years. Today, I'm sharing the second story of, of why big tech giants like Google, Apple and Amazon are already considering and even investing in the satellite technology today. And more specifically, I'm going to try and build a business case on why I think Apple is very heavily investing in this technology of having their own satellites. But Apple used to be a hardware company. So we all know Apple through iPods and iPhones and iPads and Macintosh and etc. High margins on premium hardware technology, but in recent decades, we see Apple has shifted its attention towards the services businesses because services businesses is business line is more predictable. It has healthier margins and really the distribution and you know distribution channels and sales is that much simpler and easier. So you don't, you're not dealing with physical products. So this is why you see um, services like TV Plus, Apple TV Plus, Apple Arcade, Apple Music, and all this iCloud theme. And this is, this is where the company is shifting towards away from just being a hardware company. We have to understand that today, Apple is pushing the content and services to 1.4 billion iOS powered devices in the world globally. So in the next five years, it's gonna be more than 3 billion of iOS devices in more than 150 countries around the world. Apple sits on huge cash reserves. So their current um, financial reports say, saying that they have over $200 billion of cash sitting in the bank, in the bank and doing nothing. And that's where uh, they can only invest this amount of cash if it provides a significant boost to the existing business line. Apple is really distributing data through this chain of different telecom companies and then underwater sea cables. So it really has this complex supply chain to deliver, to push the data to billion, billions of iOS devices, right? And what it thinks as, as a corporation in the horizon of five to seven years, what if we could streamline this delivery system of our content and services and get away from this complex chain of intermediaries and just push the data directly from our own, own satellites to all these billions of iOS devices in the world. Google actually invested in SpaceX to fund the Starlink. What we are seeing now is SpaceX launching 60 satellites per launch like every couple of weeks. The reality is that the, the main customer for that was Google and Google has this huge ecosystem of Android devices which are competitive to the iOS ecosystem. If you look at Amazon with their Amazon Web Services Unit, which is also a huge uh, portion of their business, uh, apart from just retail business. Amazon has already invested and built the satellite factory, uh, building the Project Kuiper, which is a competitor to Starlink. So Apple is just the last American tech giants after Amazon and Facebook and SpaceX, which has to do this next move. And for them, really, you know, spending five, seven, 10, 15 billion over the next seven years, it's a no brainer. They already do have this cash. Now we have this early pioneers and Jeff, Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk, you know, ha having this bold vision of, hey, we're going to have these huge constellations of, of satellites. But then uh, I already see that early adopters, such as telecom companies, car manufacturer companies, tech giants, are already thinking and making the very fast steps towards having their own satellites in five to seven years, every large enterprise company or even big SMEs uh, on the higher end of the size will need to think and leverage satellite technology really in the fashion of having their own satellites, which is not sharing the data with their competition as a way of boosting their existing business. And I strongly recommend all these big companies to start thinking about today and not postpone it to the future or when all your competitors are already doing that. So if your business might be um, might benefit from building their own satellite or you're thinking about, hey, what the space domain and what all these new technologies can do for my business today, uh, get in touch with us. We will have a free consultation and we can brainstorm the ideas. We can, as a company, give away 
the standard uh, mission template for your space mission, and that could be a start of your innovation within preparation. Thanks for watching, subscribe to our channel and follow us on social media and get in touch.